So till now we have discussed about the metallic layer and the physical layer. Now in this video we will be discussing about the network layer. So initially we will just look at what are the main points or what are the responsibilities of the network layer and then I am going to summarize all these responsibilities one by one. So the first thing they are saying is the network layer controls the operation of the subnet deciding which physical path the data should take based on the network condition priority of service and other factors it provides routing or you can say route routes frame among the network see guys uh, let us suppose this is a network and we are having different hosts which are present inside the network so we have host a b c we have d we have e we have f or maybe some host which are connected inside the network and it can follow any kind of topology or any kind of connection now, if you want to send the data from the host A to host G, there are two ways. Either number one, you can flood the entire network or number two, you can use the various routing algorithms to send the data in the shortest path possible or maybe the minimum cost possible or maybe according to the minimum energy that is being utilized. What is the difference between flooding? Flooding means in this entire network, you are going to send the same data packet in every possible route, same data packet in every possible route. So that because every data packet or you can see because every frame will be having the destination address. So as soon as the data packet will reach uh, the destination address, then the destination is going to accept the data packet and obviously it guarantees that yes, the data packet will reach to the destination. But in case of routing, we find out the route which the data packet should take. For example, the route can be like this, the route that the data packet should take. And this route may be based on the various factors. For example, number one, the first factor can be the minimum cost of sending the data or we can have a factor like minimum distance that should be taken uh, to send the data or we can take the factor like, uh, let us say, uh, what is the minimum energy minimum energy that should be taken to send the data to the destination okay so we can have minimum cost minimum distance minimum energy and so on there can be various factors that we can use to decide what should be done to route the data packet from sender to the destination okay so this is the first responsibility of the network layer which is called as routing which is called as routing and the second responsibility is subnet traffic controls that is routers can instruct a sending station to throttle back its frame transmission when the routers buffer fills up so this is actually called as congestion control this is called as congestion control so congestion control is also the responsibility of the network layer next we have frame fragmentation if it determines that a downstream route's maximum transmission unit MTU size is less than the frame size, a router can fragment a frame for transmission and reassembly at the destination station. What does it mean? See, we have different layers. We have application layer, which includes both application, presentation and session. Then we have transport layer, then we have network layer, and then we have data link layer, and then we have physical layer. Now, the packets will be transmitted in the form of frames. The, net, the packet that is received from the transport layer, that particular packet can be of bigger size, but the MTU of the network, that is the maximum transmittable unit of the network, can be less than, than the actual uh, packet. So we have to divide this packet into multiple smaller packets, and this is the responsibility of the network layer to uh, divide this packet or fragment this packet because we are going to do something called as fragmentation here, something called as fragmentation here so that we can divide this packet into smaller packet uh, to transmit the data through the network now guys this fragmentation uh, i hope i know that you are not familiar with the term fragmentation i know you are not familiar with how this fragmentation is done but we are going to study this fragmentation in the later videos because we have only discussed the data link layer till now we have not discussed the network layer so as soon as we start the videos on network layer specifically on network layer then we are going to discuss about the fragmentation or what is a fragmentation part just understand that this fragmentation this is called as fragmentation and the fragmentation is also the responsibility of the network layer so we have three responsibilities now number one is routing 
Number two is congestion control. Number three is fragmentation. Now let us look at the fourth responsibility. It says logical physical address mapping. That means you translate a logical address, which can be a IP address, to the map MAC address to the MAC address. And for this, we have different uh, algorithms or different methodologies that are available. And this transmission is this uh, addressing. Uh, or you can say this mapping of the addresses from logical to physical or physical to logical is also the responsibility of the network layer so we can say logical physical address mapping which translates logical address or names into physical address for example if you have an ip address then you have to translate the ip address to the mac address of that particular machine that is also the responsibility of the network layer and the next is the subnet usage accounting has accounting functions to keep track of frames forwarded by the subnet into intermediate systems to produce billing information to produce billing information so this is uh, not concerned for our point of view for example in for our examination this point is not at all uh, no one is going to ask you this kind of question but just understand that you should know that subnet usage or how much usage has been done for the network is also keeping track of that subnet usage is also the responsibility of the network layer so that the uh, your service providers or you can say the internet service providers they can create billing accordingly or according to that okay so that is also the responsibility of the network layer guys okay so these are the responsibilities so let me just summarize all these responsibilities one by one so what are the what was the first responsibility that is uh, congestion control so it is congestion control second responsibility was uh, fragmentation fragmentation third responsibility was routing which includes creating the routing table creating the routing tables the fourth responsibility was IP address or you can say logical address to physical address mapping or you can say IP to Mac or logical address logical address to physical address translation to physical address translation translation that is also the responsibility of the network layer and what is the fifth responsibility here fifth responsibility is subnet usage accounting subnet usage accounting accounting okay and keep in mind that network layer deals with host to host connectivity host to host connectivity host to host connectivity is dealt by the network layer okay so now let us move on to the next video next where we are going to discuss about the responsibilities of the transport layer